Welcome to today's video, where we dive deep into the world of electrical circuits to answer a fascinating question. Can Ohm's law be applied to both DC, direct current, and AC, alternating current, circuits? To explore this concept, we'll be using a simulator to demonstrate the application of Ohm's law. On the left side of our simulation, we have a DC circuit with a voltage source of 12 volts and a resistor with a resistance of 4 ohms. On the right side, we have an AC circuit with a voltage source of 12 volts and the same 4 ohm resistor. Join us as we embark on this enlightening journey to unravel the relationship between Ohm's law and DC by AC circuits. Let's begin by examining the DC circuit on the left. Ohm's law is a fundamental principle in electronics that states the current flowing through a conductor between two points is directly proportional to the voltage across those points and inversely proportional to the resistance. In mathematical terms, Ohm's law can be expressed as I is equal to V by R, where I represents the current in amperes, V represents the voltage in volts, and R represents the resistance in ohms. In our DC circuit, we have a 12-volt DC voltage source and a resistor with a resistance of 4 ohms. Applying Ohm's law, we can calculate the current flowing through the circuit by dividing the voltage by the resistance, I is equal to 12 volts by 4 ohm is equal to 3 amperes. Therefore, in this DC circuit, the current flowing through the resistor is 3 amperes. Now, let's shift our focus to the AC circuit on the right. Unlike DC circuits, AC circuits involve voltage and current that continuously vary in magnitude and direction over time. However, the underlying principles of Ohm's law remain applicable to AC circuits as well. In an AC circuit, the voltage source produces alternating current that oscillates between positive and negative values, resulting in a sinusoidal waveform. While the voltage and current waveforms constantly change, we can still analyze the circuit using the RMS, root mean square, values, which represent the effective values of the alternating current or voltage. For a sinusoidal waveform, the RMS value is approximately 0.707 times the peak value. In our AC circuit, we have a 12-volt AC voltage source and the same 4-ohm resistor. To apply Ohm's law in the AC circuit, we need to use the RMS values. Therefore, the RMS voltage can be calculated as follows. RMS voltage is equal to 0.707 into 12 volts is equal to 8.48 volts. Now, with the RMS voltage and the resistor's resistance, we can determine the current flowing through the AC circuit using Ohm's law. I is equal to V by R is equal to 8.48 volts by 4 ohm is equal to 2.12 amperes. Hence, in this AC circuit, the current flowing through the resistor is approximately 2.12 amperes. As we have observed, Ohm's law can indeed be applied to both DC and AC circuits. In the DC circuit, the calculated current was 3 amperes, while in the AC circuit, the RMS current was approximately 2.12 amperes. Although the values differ due to the nature of alternating current, the fundamental relationship between voltage, current, and resistance, as described by Ohm's law, remains valid for both circuit types. Understanding and applying Ohm's law is of utmost importance in the analysis and design of electrical circuits, regardless of whether they operate on direct current or alternating current. It enables engineers and technicians to make accurate calculations, predict circuit behavior, and ensure the proper functioning and safety of electrical systems. By relying on Ohm's law, professionals can determine the appropriate resistor values, calculate current flow, and ensure that circuits operate within safe limits. Moreover, the application of Ohm's law extends beyond simple circuits. It forms the foundation for more complex concepts and formulas used in electrical engineering, such as Kirchhoff's laws and network analysis. By understanding and mastering Ohm's law, individuals can progress to more advanced topics and tackle intricate circuit designs with confidence. In summary, Ohm's law is a versatile principle that transcends the boundaries of DC and AC circuits. Whether we're dealing with a direct current circuit or an alternating current circuit, the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance remains consistent. Ohm's law allows us to make accurate predictions and calculations ensuring the proper operation of our circuits and promoting electrical safety. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Ohm's law in DC and AC circuits. 
We hope this video has shed light on the topic and provided you with a deeper understanding of the relationship between Ohm's law and electrical circuits. If you have any further questions or video suggestions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Keep expanding your knowledge, keep experimenting, and until next time, take care.